dedicated to, and then there are others who actually take stuff and turn it into other stuff that's creative in ways that you've never thought of yourself. And thank God we have them. Now, Kevin is actually a mad scientist and an evil genius. <laughs> he works with giant robots on a regular basis. I am not making this up. He works with the spin of electrons. And sometimes he works with foam. <laughs> Kevin Roach. <laughs> Now it's locked. There we go. Okay, next. Um, by way of credentials, um, I was listed in the advertisement as a master costumer. I am not. I'm not a member of any costuming union, but I do have some masterpieces. I've been making costumes for over 40 years. When I was eight years old, I was a totem pole for Halloween. Uh, more recently, we did a photo shoot at the Rosicrucian Museum. I've also been singing for most of that time. And in later years, as I learned what I could actually sing and what I could not sing in a bar where I do charity shows, I started doing lounge tunes. So in 2005, the chairman of the 59th West Coast Science Fantasy Convention, nicknamed Conzilla, asked me if I would build a costume of their mascot, Conrad T. Lizard, and then perform wearing said costume in the Friday Night Cabaret. They had commissioned some artists to do renderings of Conrad, and uh, they were dramatically different. The one by Sue Da was Disco Conrad. The one by my friend Frank Wu was the Elvisaurus. Um, I decided I really wanted to wear pants, and so we went with Elvisaurus. <laughs> Besides, you know, he's got the flashy jumpsuit. So, we start with raw materials. There they are. We have a large pile of foam. We have some toy footballs, which we'll come back to in a while. We have a spray glue, we have a hard hat, we have the all-important Oster electric carving knife, which becomes very important when you're building something out of foam. So we're just gonna go right through how we built Conrad. We start by roughing out the head. And uh, the other view shows you the hard hat inside it. The whole idea is I had to be able to sing while wearing this, so it couldn't sit on my shoulders, it had to sit on top of my head. So my jaw was free, and uh, you can see the uh, carving knife is all ready to go, so you start with a block of foam, and then you carve away everything that does not look like a giant lizard head. <laughs> um, and there you can get the first hint of what I was going to do with the uh, toy footballs. You can also see that uh, he has the fins, the spines, that uh, Frank grew in his drawing, which are actually one of the characteristics that really make Conrad look like Conrad, is that uh, dorsal crest. So the eyes, we've got these silicone rubber footballs. They're called Gax flat footballs. You slice one in half, and then you cut the packaging very carefully, and you put half of the packaging over half the football, and you have an eyeball, which uh, was remarkably effective and very cheap. They also have these slots all the way through them so you can tie them onto the phone. All right, we need the jumpsuit, so we buy a jumpsuit, and then we paint it, and we paint it some more, and we paint it some more, and eventually from a distance it starts to look like you've actually spent some time putting rhinestones on it. Um, up close, it doesn't. But from a distance, it looked great. And uh, there we go. Now he needs a jaw and he needs nasty pointy teeth because he is a carnivore, as most lounge lizards are. And this is a material called Wonderflex. It's a thermoplastic with polyester mesh in it. So you heat it up, form it, let it cool down, and it gets strength from the mesh and uh, can take whatever shape you want. So that means very lightweight jaw. Put the jaw in, cover it with skin. The skin is this wonderful fabric called Cosmic Lizard. It's spandex, it's holographic spandex. In order to get enough to make Conrad, I had to buy 20 yards of the stuff. 20 yards of blue and 20 yards of black, it took about three yards of blue total to make Conrad. 
But you need hands, you need a body, because you know, Elvis would never run around with his jumpsuit zipped up all the way. So we have the uh, lizard torso complete with nice abs. We have the, uh, the paws, and you can see actually how well those gloves worked. That was one of the uh, things that made me very happy with this. And uh, then you have to finish the eye. So we give him an iris, and there's actually a little tube of spandex that's stitched around the edge, which gives it that sort of crease around the eye. And that's what actually makes it look like a real eye, adding that little tiny fold of fabric all the way around the capsule. So, those are all the pieces, and in July of 2006, Conrad live on stage! How about that? Unfortunately, they had the subwoofer turned up so no one could actually hear me sing. Now, the microphone's under the head. You'll notice the one he's carrying is not actually plugged in. And this was fun, it was well received, but I noticed among other things that he has a horrible underbite. He doesn't have a tail. So we set out to give him a tail, built it just like the real thing, carved vertebrae out of foam. There's a piece of chain down the middle of elastic, so it will swing really well sideways and run only a little up and down, covered in more cosmic lizard, and voila, we have a tail. It riveted, it's riveted onto a weight belt, so it sits right at the base of my spine. He needed feet. I had an old pair of cowboy boots, a little more foam, some lucky stitching with some more of the fabric, and voila, we have Albasaurus feet. So, uh, and I eyeballed those, so I was very proud of how the, the toes turned out, given that I eyeballed both the carving and the stitching. So, uh, since we discovered that under a spotlight the paint didn't really look like rhinestones, I added some. I happen to have, oh, you know, a drawer full of plastic rhinestones, so this wasn't hard. And you can glue those onto fabric. So, uh, spangles, more spangles, and even more spangles. And then, he went to L.A. for the World Size Fishing Convention. He appeared on stage performing to a Tom Jones version of Prince's The Kiss. So, of course, he had groupies who threw their underwear at the poor security guard. He got into a clinch with one of the groupies and posed in the... God help me, Disco Conrad pose at the end of the number. But that wasn't quite enough, he needed fringe. So there we go, we added the fringe following July, and now he looks like a proper Elvisaurus. So, um, without further ado, I am very proud of this fellow. I would like you to meet Conrad T. Lizard. Lounge Lizard, extraordinaire, who is a uh, this is one of the costumes featured in my new magazine, a new online magazine, Yipe, which you can download for free at yipezine.com. So, thank you very much. <laughs>